Rat tat tat. Rats and tats. Rats and tats. Rats and tats. It is time for rats and tats. Today we are looking at the Radio Shack Space Voice. It's uh, it's a piece of tat really. I found it on eBay for two quid, and I was like, that is mine. That is definitely mine. The first time ever introducing Lord Bronk. He's a little bit shy still, but I figured it's about time he got on front of the camera. Hey, buddy. He's just really excited, I think. So, the Radio Shack Electronic Space Voice. You can sound like a robot. Every kid's dream. I mean, Radio Shack were very well known for their tat, really. I mean, they did some good tat. They did some bad tat. This is probably some bad tat. This was, I believe, from the late 1970s. I actually can't find an actual date on it. I can't find any information about it either. Look at that kid. Look, he is loving it. He's having the best time in his, in, in, in his polo shirt. And here it is in its polystyrene coffin. I mean, to be honest, the polystyrene is heavier than this thing is. Could build a house with that. So this little guy is the main voice unit. This is where my voice is going to come out from. By the way, I had a look and it turns out that all of these kind of robotic voice changes were quite a big thing in the 70s and 80s because, wow, so technologically advanced. But I couldn't find any reason to suggest that this one was, you know, an especially popular one or anything. It's not supposed to have this red band on it. I've got it there because otherwise the battery compartment slides out. Battery, by the way, is one 9 volt. And what you do is plug in the supplied headphones here. And then you're supposed to just rock around wearing it, you know, like a polo shirt on the front. Look at how happy he is. Have a look at the headset. It does actually say Tandy on the side as opposed to Radio Shack. Obviously, this is just because of, you know, distribution and all of that stuff. I was a bit too lazy to look that up, to be honest. Although I did check to see if Tandy made these headsets for anything else and I couldn't find anything. But obviously, that's not, you know, conclusive. Hey, buddy. We'll make a star review yet, Bronk. Right. Now, I'm going to turn it on very, very slowly. But because it does shriek a little bit and I absolutely do not want to scare the rat. It can go quite a lot louder, but when you do, there's a hell of a lot of feedback and it sounds horrendous, so we ain't doing that. Especially because, you know, there's rats in the vicinity. What is it? Do you like it? Hello, Bronk. Hello, Lord Bronk. Oh, okay. Now, whether or not you consider it to be a space voice is kind of uh, up for debate. Hello, I am a robot. I am so, so spacey. Can hardly manage I'm so spacey. Is is fly through space. It goes so fast. So so fast. Is rat. Is rat friend. Is hello. Is please be my friend. Hello. I am a robot. Hello. It's so pleased to see. So happy to meet new robot friend. The sound is sort of radiating out of both the front and back. You're supposed to clip it onto your belt and then just rock around talking like this. I suppose it is quite, it's quite spacey, isn't it? I mean, you know, if if you if you're gonna do it, give it a one to ten on the spaciness scale. You're looking at about, I don't know, a six, which is quite good for two quid on eBay. Um, that's really all there is to say about this. I mean, there's nothing else about it. You just sort of knock about in your polo shirt and you talk. Like a like a robot, and and there you go, and you're the life of the party, and everyone wants to be your mate. That was another episode of Rats and Tat. If you like what I'm doing here, please please subscribe. You can check out my Patreon as well if you want to help me out, and you can come and say hi on Twitter or Facebook. From me and Lord Bronk, see you next time. He's a great boy, eh? Good boy.